It was supposed to be a perfect summer. I was living out my childhood fantasy, leaving everything I knew to be true, traveled five hours by car, six by plane, and three by bus, arrived at Brookwood Camps as a counselor slash lifeguard. For the next seven weeks of my life, I would be father, mother, and older brother of six, seven-year-olds. Their arrival was a chaotic energy of strangeness and charm as they destroyed the cabin, searching for their baseball, basketball, swimsuit, tennis racket, and soccer cleats all at once. They were six atoms crashing into each other, and their big bang sounded like the beginning of friendship. But when the sun clapped out, they all slept as quiet as space. And winning or losing was yesterday's problem they won't remember tomorrow. On the days it rained so hard, the roads would flood like their dreams of playing in the NBA. We huddled around a bed, teaching them how to play poker, betting on stolen Kit Kats, Snickers, and Sour Patch Kids. Still not sure if they understood the rules of the game, but it passed the time with no fighting. Every day was a new adventure. They were astronauts exploring the far reaches of their own imagination. They were professional athletes signing endorsement deals. They were lion taming circus freaks and ninjas on a secret mission. Their stories always made me laugh. They all agreed and made sure to tell me they didn't have a problem with gay people. Gay people are people too. Never once did I actually come out to them. Then he pulled me close. His hands down my shorts, words whispered into my ear, we could have a great summer. All my body weight pushing this man away. One in 10 men report being a victim of sexual assault. But how many are held at gunpoint by their own shame, robbed of a joy they don't even think about? I didn't understand what happened until weeks later, then it hit me like a foul bog on crowd surfing. It stopped me in my tracks, left me crying at a payphone, begging for a plane ticket home. Then it happened again. He came up to me at the bar, the same embrace, the same hand, touching the same place, the same body, pushing him away. Why aren't we friends? He asked you fucking make me uncomfortable. The words spilled from my mouth like water falling off the edge of Niagara without choice or warning. I think about it every time a man comes near me. I think about being looked at as a piece of meat. A week ago, at a volleyball tournament, I was asked to take my shirt off by older gay men. On our first date, he offers to suck my dick. At the bar, he grabs my ass and tells me to meet him in the men's room. When I tell them no, they look at me the way I looked at those kids when their fists started firing, confused and angry. My body is not a sport for you to win gold, but as a man, I am supposed to want this attention. It's supposed to get me hard, and I should be begging for it.